so full of ourselves. You didn't persuade me. I have to come here. No, indeed. You accept the award, then you have to give the interview. And this isn't the sort of award you turned down. Especially if you've turned down four previous awards. People might start asking questions. What are you suggesting? You'll have to wait till those cameras roll to find out what I'm suggesting. Now you look here. We agreed on the question. Mr. Conley, you and I are both journalists and we both know how to get our stories. I don't write stories, Ms. Harrison. I write about the truth. Something your, your 24-hour gossip-churning hacks will never appreciate. Have you ever looked long and hard at the world, Miss Harrison? It's full of desperation and filth. Whitewashed over to paint a pretty picture. And what part do you play? Play? I don't play anything. You just write about the truth? Your life is a curious story. You changed overnight. They say when Joseph Conley was a young man, he had everything a young man could need. In fact, when Joseph Conley was a young man, he was a conceited man indeed. <laughs> Are you giving this interview in prose or in verse? I'm talking about the beginning. My mind was made up when I was very young. I had ambitions to become a lawyer, but they fell by the wayside. You know the rest, it's no secret. What you do now is a different sort of justice? Public justice? There was something that changed you, wasn't there? There was something more than simply a change of heart.